Hi guys, my name is Irish, and after this video, a lot of people are a, a lot of people are not gonna like me. Epic foreshadowing. And the reason being is because people associate what I'm about to tell you with with a Nazi. <gasps> what? That's terrible. Hint, 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 hint. Therefore, I am here to tell you that I. My friend, your friend, everyone's friend. We're not friends. I barely know you. We might be acquaintances, maybe, but friends, no. Am I feminist? Before, before you get on me and tell me what feminazi you are, or mm, you must hate men. Well, let me explain to you what this is. Oh, let's face the facts. You're just going to regurgitate everything that Lacey Green is going to say. We should, we're should. we going to give you a nice little nickname. You're going to be Lacey Green clone number 421. Being a feminist just means that I stand up for human rights. So is being an egalitarian, but for some odd reason, it's just not enough. And I believe that women's bodies are women's body, and old white men should not tell me what to do with mine. Um... A feminist means that I don't believe in gender roles. I don't believe that a boy can't wear pink because it's a girl's color or a, or a girl can't wear black because it's a boy's color. You act like people throw sticks and stones at men who wear pink. Things like that. But it's, it, it's very important for me to, to uh, have friends who are feminists because I feel like together with feminism, when we come together, we kind of take it to the next level. And they say feminism is not a hive mind! Because we are friends, and we love each other deeply, but at the same time, we are also standing up for what's right. Let me ask you something. If these people weren't feminists, would you still be friends with them? Because we stand up for the LGBTQ plus community. Yeah, that's right, I said Q plus. Mm -hmm. Get your facts straight. So do many other people! Who aren't feminists? And we are pro-choice. I'm not for abortion and I'm not against it. I'm whatever the heck that person wants to do with her own body. Because frankly, it's not my body and it's not my decision to make it for her. I am against slut shaming. Of course you are. Because who cares what she wears? You say that. But as soon as we start using women to advertise, then all of a sudden, we must make women more conservative in order to make men penises not go up. I am against the rape culture because what she, how she dresses does not mean yes. Again, rape culture does not exist. And um, there hasn't been a case where a rapist just you know, get a slap on the hand and say, Don't you ever do that again because of what a woman was wearing. Get that in your skull, please. Please. Maybe you should take your own advice. And listen to me. And also what feminists kind of stand up for is gender equality. Because people say that women are equal. But are we? Well, are we? The answer is no. By you saying women are equal. I can make the argument that women have more rights than men. You don't believe me? There's a link in the description for you to check out. It's kind of like a picture. Imagine this picture. You have a man and a woman. And a man to get to his job, there's an escalator, okay? And he just has to take the escalator to get there. But with a woman, there's a broken wooden ladder that she has to climb up. It's like that. No, it's more like this. For a woman, she gets to ride that fancy golden elevator containing that special massage chair that she can take anywhere. And half-naked men are ready to serve her food. For men, like myself, we get a cheap elevator that makes some noise and we have this one old ugly hag telling us how much of a piece of shit we are. It may seem equal because we're both getting there, but one takes longer and harder work, and I can guarantee you that that is not the man. Men are more likely to die from their jobs than women, and you're telling me that you have it hard? 
But another thing is the fact that when you make fun of feminism, you're, you're making fun of 400,000 people who are raped each year in England. What? If you're making fun of feminism, you're, you're making fun of rape victims? When does feminism become synonymous with rape victim? You are making fun of one in five women that are raped. You are making- How the fuck does that work? The one in five rape statistic is wrong. It's been debunked and you feminists continue using that same bullshit argument every fucking time. Explain how making fun of feminism is making fun of rape victims. Explain! women that are sold into sex trafficking. How the fuck are we making fun of that? It is not entirely impossible to insult feminism and yet acknowledge the problems that women face in third world countries. You are making fun of women who are not able to read or write because they're not allowed to. Well, you make fun of feminism, you're making fun of the children starving in Africa. Well, you're making fun at feminism, you're making fun at fat women who can't lose weight. Well, you're making fun at feminism. You're making fun at women in general. And that makes you a misogynist. And you don't want me to call you a misogynist. That's the last thing you want me to call you. You're, you're not making fun of me. You are not throwing punches at me. You're so feminism is synonymous with rape victim, but feminism is not synonymous with you. Okay? You're throwing punches at them. And... For me, being a first class or first world feminist, yeah, I may not have all those problems, but I stand up for them. But we all know how you are. You're only going to help the women, but for the men, they can just go fuck themselves. And by you battering me down, by calling me names, and by making fun of what I believe, you're also making fun of them. No, we're not making fun of them, we're making fun at you. You and your massive hypocrisy. I just thought I'd inform you on what I was. And I I really think that you guys should maybe look into feminism if you're not already a feminist. Why do you think I oppose feminism in the first place? You think I just, you know, look at feminism and be like, oh man, it just sounds evil. So you know what, I'm just going to oppose it because that's the, that's the logic you feminists have. By the way, there's a difference between a white feminist and a feminist. A white feminist basically focuses more on um, sexism and completely ignores black women. Completely. Which is wrong. Because they are a minority. And we need to focus on them. People need to know that there is still racism. It's just sugar-coated. Feminists killing each other out. Nice. But, anyways, thank you guys for listening. And thank you guys for staying through the whole video. It really means a lot. And I really encourage you to look in on feminism. And I'm not talking like looking on feminism on www.feminismhatred.org. I'm talking like a Wikipedia page. Well... Do we really trust that? I do. No, no. A suggested source. A uh, trusted source. Well, I already have all the sources I need, so I'm just going to end the video here.